Thanks for watching Outdoors Delmarva. I'm Andrew Taws. We'll be checking in with my partner, Captain Willie Dykes, in a few minutes. Well, striped bass, or rockfish as they're known around here, may be the official fish of Maryland, but ask any fisherman what they'd prefer to have on the end of their line, and you're bound to hear the words speckled trout. For the last few years, fishing has been fairly slow for the speckled trout in the waters of the Tangier and Pocomoke Sounds. It's been probably about three or four years. And uh, we usually catch a few every year, but um, this year is, it's been pretty good. And I, I remember about three or four years ago, we had a run like this. Reports have been coming in that the spotted sea trout are back in the bay this year, and having caught some already this season, Danny and Julie Wynn are heading out to confirm the days of speckled trout glory have returned. We're hoping to get into them today, and uh, we're glad to see them back, that's for sure. The Wynns and myself are casting artificial lures in the shallows of Tangier Sound, and it's not long before Danny has the first bite. There he is. There he is. Trash fish. Turns out it's only that official state fish, which when you're searching for specks can prove to be quite a nuisance. Got him that time. And for now, that's all we're catching. Little, little rock. Then Danny gets what feels like that telltale speckled trout hit. Oh, lost him. Oh, we're gonna say he was a rock. I don't know. Uh, the glimpse I had. <laughs> we're gonna say it was a rock. I don't want to say that was a trout, because I think it was a trout too. I thought it was. But soon enough, we are able to lay eyes on the first speck of the day. Little speckle. Yeah. First speckle. That's what we come for right there. It's not a keeper, but it's enough to <laughs> keep us out here. And after another pesky rockfish. We might need the net. Yes, we need the net. We got a nice fish here. We got a decent fish. Get him in that net. Baby, look at that! <laughs> huh? Give me some! Boom! Yeah, baby! Oh, look, he threw the hook right in the net. Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, now that's how you get outdoors, Del Marva. This one is a keeper, and amazingly enough, we're just getting started. Oh, yeah, nice one, Andrew. Get him in the net. Oh, son! Oh, ho! -ho. <laughs> Yeah, man. Pretty work, man. Pretty work. All right, look at these guys. That are pretty fish. Beautiful. It gets to the point where we need another cameraman. Oh, there we go. Nice fish, Andrew. Got fast and furious there. We, uh... Sorry I missed you catching them and bringing them in the boat. <laughs> that's all right. But that's a nice fish. And the... believe me, it was good footage if we could have got it. <laughs> the important thing was getting it in the boat. Exactly. So we got it. You did that part real well. All right. And we got, we got some film to prove it. Nice fish. Nice fish. Yep. You're supposed to be doing all the filming. What's going on here? Huh? <laughs> well, that's all right. I used to always say when I was younger and go fishing with my dad that uh, if the fish are there, I'm going to catch them. Right? I'm a believer now. All right, Andrew. It's a pretty fish. You're the, you're the breadwinner here today. <laughs> When it comes to fishing, some days the unlucky become lucky, and of course, that works both ways. We've been doing pretty good on the trout. You've been doing pretty good on the trout. We know they're here. Let's switch it up, get ready for the tide to turn. And with a new tide is bound to come some new luck. Yeah, that's a nice fish. All right. That's what we come here for. Fish. For Julie, however, the new tide does not bring any new luck, at least not for catching trout. But she does eventually get one. I got one this time. About time. <laughs> got one. Yay! I get to release him. Go tell your brother to come back. Danny winds up catching a few more smaller trout, along with one more keeper, but it's looking more and more like the quality fish from earlier are no longer hungry. It's out there going. Right there. It's good to see the trout return. We've been wanting them to come back like this for a long time. I mean, let's say we've done all right. 
And whatever the reasons may be for the lack of fish over the last few years, there aren't many things that make a fisherman happier than having speckled trout back in the bay. Get outdoors, Delmarva! <laughs>